Now I just reverse my old thicker ties. <laughs> Uh, I like getting older. The only thing I miss about being younger is when I was done peeing, I was done peeing. <laughs> I'm peeing right now, sir. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Why do you think I have two stanky legs? I need to dance. That's necessity right there. <laughs> uh, I am feeling good. I'll tell you. You know why? You know what they say? If you want to feel good, set goals you can achieve. That makes sense, right? Set goals you can achieve. So my goals for this year are to gain some weight, sleep alone, and be in debt. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You are looking at a winner. <laughs> I can't lose. Every time a woman walks away, success. Uh, yeah. No, but life is all about problem solving, isn't it? It's how we respond to the problems, right? And I don't mean the ones that we have in school, right? If Johnny had eight apples, right, and he gave Sally three apples, right? That's not even the problem. You know what the problem is? Johnny doesn't wash his hands. <laughs> how long till Sally gets salmonella? That's the problem. I mean, real life, we should know real life problem solving. Not this algebra, remember the algebra? What was that about? I've never run into X in my life. <laughs> but you know what, they taught it to us. I say, have fun with it. We can have fun, you know what I do? I pull up to a gas station, I go right up to the attendant. I go, hey, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I left Chicago this morning at 6.30, <laughs> driving 66 miles an hour. <laughs> My brother Theodore is leaving in a motorboat. <laughs> we'll be doing 12 knots an hour. How many quarts of oil will we need? <laughs> and show all your work. <laughs> right, algebra, everything they taught me in algebra, I don't know what they were getting at. Right? All I know is now I'm an adult and I have an ex. <laughs> uh, yeah. Apparently I was the problem. <laughs> Because the judge, he found the value of X. <laughs> yeah. X equals 1,200 bucks a month. <laughs> I complained, but he showed me all the work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we should do real life. And I'm not knocking school. I'm, I, you know, I love schools. Man, I was valedictorian. Valedictorian. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I was homeschooled. But, uh, 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 well, back then they called it uh, expelled. Uh, that was a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, to me, you know, my biggest frustration, we should teach reality, like living, being realistic, right? All my, you know, so much of my, my, my life I've been unrealistic, right? You know what? You know, uh, I just, if you want to be happy, be real. I, I'm sitting down the other day, right? And I realized I had some excess flesh hanging over my belt. I said, that's it. I got up, I went out, and I got bigger pants. <laughs> because I'm proactive. <laughs> right, yeah, no, my biggest thing, right, is always being unrealistic, always trying to do too much, right, right, w trying too hard, right, especially with my to-do list, right? Anyone, like, it feels great when I'm filling out my to-do list, right, but then I never enjoy it, right? I don't even, I couldn't even enjoy sunsets because, right, the day was over, right, and I hadn't checked anything off yet, you know? Right, but they know what they, you know, my to-do list, like it feels great at night. At night, I, I get so excited when I'm filling out my list. I'm like tomorrow's gonna be the day. I'm gonna seize the day, carpe diem. Then I wake up the next day, I look at my list, I'm like, who is gonna do this? <laughs> right? Apparently not me. <laughs> know what I do with my list at the end of every day? I cross off Tuesday and write in Wednesday. <laughs> carpe diem, manana. <laughs> And then I realized, I said, Paul, you're the one making this list, right? Why not help yourself out, right? Right, create momentum, make, make it easy. So now, know what I do? I write down, right, everything, right, that I can do. Everything that I do every day anyway. My first goal today, wake up. I got up, I went over, I checked it off. <laughs> right? I felt good, right? I, I felt so good, I took a nap. <laughs> Woke up, I checked it off again, I'm like, woo! <laughs> By five o'clock, I had 24 check marks. How about that, folks? <laughs>
25. I couldn't believe everything I did. I'm like, look at that. I inhaled oxygen. I exhaled carbon dioxide. And I helped trees grow. Wow. All right. I looked for my phone while I was talking on it. <laughs> this is what awesome looks like if you lower your standards uh, precipitously. Yeah. No, life is problem solving, right? Right, because to me, right, it happened to me the other day. I like these thin ties. I like the thin ties, right? You know what they want, right, for, for, for less material? A lot more money. I'm out shopping, they wanted $40, right? $50 for a thin tie. I'm not, I'm not gonna spend 50, so you know what I do, right? Now I just reverse my old thicker ties. <laughs> Some curse the darkness. I see an opportunity for looting. <laughs> Can you smell what I'm stepping in? We're all leaving here winners. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you want to have better self-esteem, right, just get a dog. Right? Right? Yeah, you, right? You can't feel too bad for too long if you have a dog. Right? I, I used to feel guilty about taking naps. Not with a dog. Right? Every time I lie down, my dog's like, holy cow, that's a great idea. <laughs> I'm not lazy, I'm a genius. <laughs> right? You gotta get a dog, or, you know, uh, or a pet. They say anyone with a pet, on average, lives five years longer. How about that, huh? <laughs> right, on average, right? So those ladies with 40 cats? <laughs> they're not crazy, they've been around since Lincoln. <laughs> Right? But when you have a dog, there's nothing better than going home. Right? Isn't that the best thing in the world? Right? When you got a dog? Right? Applaud if you have a dog. <laughs> Listen to that. Listen to that. Right? Well, think about this, right? Because you, you have a, you know, a, a tough day. Right? You had a tough day. People are cutting you off in traffic. Right? Right? Boss is breathing down your neck. No one's returning your calls. Right? You get home, you're like, I can't take it anymore. Nobody cares. As soon as you step on your driveway, huh, 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 I care, I care. Oh, holy cow, it's you, it's you. I didn't know you were coming, I don't have a watch. <laughs> but you know what, I'm gonna get you a toy. You deserve a toy. Right, because every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day you leave. And then you come home. Right, and that's a great feeling, right? You have a cat, you come home. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's you. <laughs> you know, if you swept the floor, I wouldn't have to clean myself every two minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, but if you have a, a dog, it's a Broadway show. It's the greatest person in the world. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I want that enthusiasm. Wouldn't that be great? I say, after the show, we go around meeting everybody as our favorite dog. <laughs> like, wouldn't that be fun? Hey, look who's here! Oh, look at everybody! Look at you, beautiful! Look at you all in here! Oh, that whole uh, eyes behind her head! Look at that! Look at the big guy! Look at you! Busy. He's been busy! Hey, follow me! It's gonna be a good night! Follow me! Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> Scratch me! <laughs> hey, that's the way I roll. Because the end of dignity is the beginning of freedom. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm feeling a lot better, uh, you know, uh, uh, about life. But I realized for a long time, right, I was, I was negative. I was always looking. I was always looking at what I, what I didn't do. Right, right, like for instance, I, I, I got a chip on my shoulder. My dad, may he rest in peace, he's alive, he's just always napping. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, my dad's 91, my dad is doing fantastic. 91 years old, a cancer survivor. <laughs> yes. 15 years ago, so, but he's still living on his own, driving on his own, so stay off the road. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, and I, now I can appreciate my dad, but growing up, Right, he was nothing but annoying. 
Right, right. right. I, he always wanted to uh, get, have that, you know, talk. I'm 16, he wants to have that talk. I'm like, what do you have to tell me? You know, finally, he sits me down with my two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he still gives me advice to this day. He reads every medical journal, prevention magazine, right? He learns something, he calls me up. He goes, Paul, you gotta be careful. I'm like, what's that, Pop? <laughs> he goes, I just read that most strokes happen on the toilet. <laughs> what's that? Most strokes happen on the toilet. What am I supposed to do with that information? <laughs> it's a good thing I have a backyard. <laughs> the neighbors are ticked, but you should see my begonias. Uh, they, uh... Yeah, it's beautiful. It's on Facebook. Check them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but you know, for years I had, for years I had a chip on my shoulder. My dad's a great guy, right? He would get upset once in a while. And I was 40 years old, right? When it finally dawned, I was 40 years old. And know what I was thinking at 40? I was thinking, oh, my life would have been better if dad didn't lose his temper. And I, and I said, Paul, right? Right, first of all, right, dad came to your first comedy show. He said he's never been prouder in his life. Right, right, he helped you get your first home. He helped you get, you know, through college. I said, and I said, Paul, second of all, you're 40 years old. You've been out of the house 20 years. I don't think daddy's the problem, <laughs> right? Yeah, mom screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, a winner takes responsibility for who he blames. But I, no, I realized something. I was focused on the negative of my whole life, right? I was always upset, always frustrated, because I was always looking at what I didn't do, or what I couldn't do, or what they couldn't do, or what they didn't do, or what they should do. But not anymore, not anymore. Now I'm just looking at what I can do, right? Because look what I can do. Look at that. I, I'm the boss of my body. Look at that. Why the heck if we don't wake up every morning, get out of bed, and think, holy cow, look at this, it's all working. Thank you, Jesus. I can put my left foot in and my left foot out. Right? And you know what? That's what it's all about. <laughs> We could live with so much more freedom, right? Right, have fun, right? We could wake up every day and give ourselves a new walk. Wouldn't that be fun? You go to work, hey, Jim, how's it going? <laughs> it's me, Paul, <laughs> right? Every day, you got the boss telling you what to do, right? Well, maybe he didn't tell you how to do it, right? Sure, I'll get that for you, Mr. Boss Man. Might take a while. Today I'm a sea turtle. <laughs> the journey, not the destination. <laughs> yeah, but I try to stay positive. Right, know what I've been doing lately? My motto and my affirmation, I want to find good news in everything. Because you can, what you focus on grows. I want to find good news in everything. Uh, like for instance, for instance, uh, uh, about six months ago I had my license revoked. Yeah, unpaid tickets in the 80s. But, but here's the good news. Here's the good news. I just saved a bundle on my car insurance. <laughs> There's good news in everything, I'm telling you. I just found out I have bed bugs. Hey, no, here's the good news. My in-laws only stay for one night. <laughs> Right? There's good news in everything, right? If you're over 50, all the music you love is in the dollar bin. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> when I sit, my, if I sit for more than 20 minutes, my back goes out. Right, the good news, every 15 minutes, I have to get up to pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's good news in everything. I try to be positive, but you know what? My first thought is always negative. Right? I always think the worst, and then I make the best out of that. Right? Yeah, anyone else do that? Right, right? I'm like a paranoid optimist. Right? It's the Murphy's Law of spirituality. Right? Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. But it's all for the best. <laughs> right? But like as a kid, as a kid, the only way I was able to get to sleep was convincing myself that the monster under my bed could beat the crap out of the boogeyman in the closet. <laughs> but to this day, right, that's, all, that's the way my mind works, right? If I get a headache, within 10 minutes, 
Oh, no. Oh, that's a tumor. That's a tumor. Just when my life starts taking off, I get a tumor. I convince myself I have a tumor. Then I say, Paul, well, hold on. Maybe, you know, maybe it's a tumor. Maybe you might be the first one that gets a good tumor. Right? They discovered good cholesterol, good fat. They might discover it, right? Doctors going to be like, Mr. Lyons, we can't believe it. Your tumor burns fat and builds muscle. <laughs> In two weeks, you'll be fit as a fiddle. <laughs> Right, and I start thinking, wow, they're going to name the tumor after me. I could have a famous tumor. There's Lou Gehrig's disease. Right, doctors are going to be like, sir, you got Paul Lyons' tumor. What's that? It's an abnormal growth in consciousness. <laughs> You're going to find good news in everything. But doc, what about these heart palpitations? Why, well, that's opportunity knocking. <laughs> Wait to meet the nurse that works at the defibrillator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, life is all about how you respond to it, right? It's all about your attitude. They know what, they, know what I like? They, you know, they say you got to live like heaven's on earth. You got to dance like nobody's watching. You got to love like you've never been court ordered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go to dance clubs whenever I, whenever I can. I love dancing. I, but I go, they're so young. I walked into this one dance club. I walked in, the music stopped. Right? They're like, oh, no. I think we're getting audited. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. Rock and roll. Put another dime in the jukebox, baby. I am ready. Blame it on the boogie. Who's your daddy's bowling partner? Well, help him up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I go into this club, right? I'm hip. I know what time it is, right? I go into this club, and they're playing uh, the uh, uh, they're playing the Snoop, right? Yeah, on the A track. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I go out on the dance floor, and let me tell you something, right? I'm dropping it like it's room temperature. <laughs> right. I'm doing my thing, right? I'm doing my thing, and this young woman comes up and joins me. I'm like, wow, I still got it, right? So I started showing off. I started doing the sprinkler. <laughs> right? But I couldn't even do the sprinkler. I think I got caught up in the hose. Right? By the time I turned around, she was gone. Right? I think she was just a paramedic checking up on me. But then I looked down, and she didn't leave. She was still dancing, but she was all bent over. Right? My gosh, she must have dropped an earring. No, right? She started doing that, the uh, tweaking or the... Uh, twerking. <laughs> she was twerking. All right, I never had that. I didn't know what that was. Right, I'm dancing, right? She's all in front of me like this. What? I felt like a quarterback. <laughs> Finally, I'm just like, uh, blue 42! Jumped in the trunk! Who's my hollerback girl? My name is Humpty. I like my oatmeal lumpy. <laughs> Whoop, there it is. I'm not joking around with her. She had a boyfriend. All of a sudden, he's all up in my grill. So shizzle. He goes, I ain't playing. You got a problem? I'm like, yeah, I do. I do. If a train left Chicago <laughs> at 6.30, driving 66 miles an hour... <laughs> That's right. A winner is always prepared. <laughs> yeah. No, but this is great. You know, I, I, you know romance, is, romance is just keep improving for me. My last relationship, we were 57, right? We we're both 57. And, and uh, you know, I, you, know you, there's always, you never stop learning, though, do you guys? Right? And one of the things I learned, you got to be romantic. Right? We fall in love with each other because we're dating, that tension of missing each other. That's what you need, don't you? Right? Apparently, I'm the only one who agrees with that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, to me, right? Because remember, when you're dating, you haven't seen each other in what? Like five days, right? Sometimes, right? You have to drive. You know, you know, I remember once I didn't see her for a week, right? I went over. She was taking a nap. I didn't care. I watched her sleep. <laughs> it, was, it was beautiful. I went, oh, wow. 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 Look, look at the way her... Look at the way your lips quiver. Right? Right, you're married, you're looking at that every day. Like, oh no. Oh no, I have a dead fish, I have a dead fish. 
Now she's drooling. Now she's drooling. She's ruining the rug. What are you doing? I gotta get a cup. You're making a latte. What's going on? <laughs> I married a weed whacker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got to keep the romance alive, you know? And you guys, you never stop learning. I thought I learned everything. No, last time I learned my lesson, right? All right. I, I, you know, I thought I was doing everything right. We're cuddling. We're cuddling, right? And I'm using my slow hand and I'm whispering in her good ear. <laughs> Slim Pickens. <laughs> I'm like, oh, baby. She's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, baby. Oh, ow, why don't you cut your toenails? You are a beast. If they ever need my DNA, it's in your foot. <laughs> No, but I do. I do my best to stay positive, right? Right. I'm looking for a relationship online. I can't find anyone. They're too young there on that Tinder. Girls are too. You know, women are too young on Tinder. Can't find a woman on Grinder. I. Uh, yeah. I like older women, so I'm on Yonder. That's where I'm at. Yonder. I. Uh, <laughs> but they say if you want to have a good relationship, right? You, you got to have a good relationship with yourself. So I've been working on my relationship with myself, and it's really working out. It's the little things I do, right? I go into the bathroom the other day. There in the mirror is a note. I'm so lucky to be you. <laughs> <laughs> right? I was out on the corner today. A lot of people thought I was cold. I was just cuddling. <laughs> I think I could be the one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I use affirmations. But, uh, you know, if you put them up around the house, you got to take them down when you have your friends over. Right? Friend walks out of my bathroom. Right? He goes, Paul, your light went out. But luckily, your smile lights up a room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But every day, I try these affirmations. Every day I wake up, I go, nothing's going to ruin my day. Right? And it works for a half an hour. Then someone cuts me off. I'm like, you ruined my day. And that's nonsense, because my mom taught me that. She said, Paul, every time you're pointing your finger, you got three fingers pointing right back at you. Yeah. So now every time I point, I use all four fingers. <laughs> like, you ruined my day. Yeah. 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 No, but uh, you, you, know, you want to see how spiritual you are? Look at yourself in the car. The other day, I wanted to get in the left lane, so I put on my left blinker. Does that help? No, no that just tips them off. <laughs> The guy was a mile away. Now he's pulling up next to me. No, you don't, pal. Don't even think of it. You're not ruining my life. <laughs> he wouldn't let me in, so I started speeding up, right? Because I was going to cut in front of him and slam on my brakes. <laughs> I'm like, Paul, what are you doing? What are you getting caught up in his misery for? You know? I'm like, you got to have your own intention when you, you know, uh, you know on, on the So now I have my, every time I get in the car, I want to be the happiest driver on the road, like my dog, right? You want to be the habit? We should all drive like our dog. That window should be down. Our head should be out. Our tongue's out like, woo! Yeah, baby! Can you feel the wind on your face? It's unbelievable! I'm going 60 miles an hour. I'm not even moving my legs. <laughs> wow, bow wow. <laughs> hey, that's my time. You guys have been so much fun. Thanks a lot. Yeah.